how's it going, chat? So, I mentioned uh, yesterday that I needed to probably get like a blank plate of footage. Uh, so you'll never guess what I did like after stream yesterday. <laughs> and it's, uh, yeah, I went and got footage. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and remove this section. Remove this. I guess that way I don't dox myself. Might be good if I do my file maneuvering a little less in view. There we go. That should do it. So now, there we go. Okay. I did a solid chunk of the game, so I've got plenty of stuff to work with. Not to mention I have like the older VODs, though those are going to be coming up in lower quality. And I've decided, since most people, reasonably, are not going to be attempting this challenge run, like, there, there I'm sure there'd be some people that are, but most people re reasonably are not going to attempt the challenge run, are just going to look at this thinking it's neat. Uh, let's see here. I've decided to mix things up. Let's see here, I need to go to Google Drive quick oh, wrong thing All right. pull this out but yeah so like going through like a whole actual guide I don't think will be necessary but I definitely want to have sort of a more humorous element to it so if I go ahead and Oh, wow, that, that scrunches that. All kinds of awful... Okay, let me... <laughs> let me disconnect those real quick. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking we go for something a little more directly entertaining. Let's see here. Shift-Enter? Control-Enter. There we go. That's how it page down. Yeah. We're going to let the footage just play for a little bit, but... The real question is, like, how do I start? Uh, I'm, I feel like SpongeBob, writing his essay. You know, I've got, uh, I've got the. Hydrate, <laughs> you got it, Fugo. But one of my, like, initial ideas was something along the lines of, Hey, you want to know how to beat Signalis shotgun only? No? Well, I did. And then just cut into, like, a shotgun montage. So I need to figure out how to separate clips out from this without just deleting the, you know, chunks out of the VOD. Like, I want to keep my video but create clips out of it. <clears throat> so I guess, let me see here. What happened to the tutorials I was looking at previously? Uh-oh. Let's see here. Well, I found a whole bunch of tutorials, but they aren't what I was looking at previously. Uh, if I go into my video history, scroll back far enough, maybe I'll find it. Let's see here, Stellaris memes, workout motivation. Hmm. Was it on my... 
other account. Because I've got my VODs account, and then I've got my main. Ooh, maybe. I'm finding stuff that looks like what I was uh, going for. Here we are. Uh, can I get the full tutorial series? There we are. So timeline and editing clips. So I'll, let's see here. In theory, if I was to say, can I adjust this at all? I can make it smaller. So, shotcut, uh, create clip out of, shotcut how to clip video. Uh, it's trimming and cutting. I want to, like, save new out of a video. Maybe. I don't know. Because I'd want to have, as I'm going through the gameplay, sort of speed explaining. I, I'd still want to have, like, certain bits. Like, I want to get clips of me blasting enemies with a shotgun for, say, an opening montage. But I also still want to have my full unedited thing. Maybe what I need to do is, say, find a bit where I shotgun. And then I'd need to, like, do some sort of save as, maybe? So if I was to say, start this clip here, and then just have that section of just me blasting Mina in the face, can I, uh, what can I do with this? Uh, shotgun, my beloved, exactly, Killer Man, exactly. Uh, maybe what I need to do is move my footage into my actual timeline. Uh-oh. Processing, maybe? Uh-oh. Uh, uh so I just turned the whole thing into that clip. Uh, if I... If I backpedal far enough... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see here. So I do want, like, pretty much the whole VOD in. And then I can, like, cut and edit out of that, maybe. So if I find where I... Blast Mina in the face. Let's see here. We're on the project view. Thermite flares. Okay, that's after Mina, after Mina, after Mina, just after Mina. So I can split at playhead. So essentially what I would do is I would split at playhead and then copy and paste it, maybe, to create a duplicate part of the clip. But then I would need to somehow repair the split later. Well, I guess technically I, I wouldn't because I would just leave it, but I'm going to be chopping this whole video into pieces. Because I'm thinking I go for the, uh, you know, 
funny quick explain. So essentially it'd be like, my sort of initial scripting idea is, you know, the intro is playing. Hey, do you want to know how to beat Signala shotgun only? Uh, too bad. And then, you know, cut through little bits of the intro, have some sort of shotgun, you know, enemies getting blasted montage. Arrive at Serpensky. Grab classroom key. Grab shells. Commit Skyrim lockpicking. You know, just kind of like, <laughs> I guess, speedrun an explanation as grossly oversimplified as I can. Not entirely sure. But I would definitely want me shooting enemies with a shotgun. So let's see here. If I have me sneaking down here. Okay, I've already killed the enemies at this point, so I need to roll back a little bit. That's me walking out of the room after having committed a crime. <laughs> Bang. Essentially, uh oh, I hit I, and now I've trimmed out everything. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Uh, split at playhead. So I've now created a split, and then I. Split at playhead again, and I need to zoom in a ton. But now I've essentially got this clip. So, uh, I'd want to, like, say, let's see, append? Uh, what would that do? So, if I hit this and then I hit append, what is. Huh? I have no idea what I just did. That's got me back down here. I've appended. Uh-oh. Yeah, I feel like I've done something incredibly, incredibly wrong. Uh, so we're just going to control Z real quick. We're going to remove the splits. We are going to <clears throat> keep the video <laughs> together. There's got to be a way to, like, scrub while dragging, snap, create edit marker... Split it, playhead, overwrite, l lift. So, in theory, I might need to... I don't know how best to get this. Let's see here. There's a cut. Yeah, so I moves my end point, like the point where the video comes in. So if I just, just hit I, it would lock out a section of the video. Uh, let's see here. Editing clips. I guess in theory, that's what I would do. Okay, so let's just grab from the minor boss fight to keep things simple. So... 
Split it playhead. Zoom in a ton. Split at playhead again. So now I've got this segment. And then in theory what I do is I would say... Okay. For the sake of science, I'm going to hit lift. Lift removes it. <laughs> okay. Undo that. <laughs> it, it moved it somewhere else. Uh, track orientations, track height, make track shorter, make tracks taller. Okay, there's a there's a lot of lot of stuff here. Video size, position scale, and rotate. Change video speed, fast, slow motion, transitions, and crossfade. Adding text and title screen, keyframes, chroma key, green screen, and blue screen effects. Freeze, hold video frame. Uh, add sides to vertical video. Convert images to video. Create a video intro slash logo splash screen. Okay. Oh, wait. Split slash remove part of a video. This might be what we're looking for. Clips in ShotCut is easy. Hover over this icon, it's the split Okay, so I actually did have it. And when we click this, it will split the video clip into two parts wherever the playhead is at. We can also press the S key on the keyboard for the shortcut to split a video clip. If we right click on a new clip and go to remove, it'll just remove that clip. Now we've just created an edit to jump from one part of the video clip to another part. While the playhead is advancing, <coughs> we can press the S key on the keyboard to create multiple splits in the clip if we want to. S creates splits. And then pause the video and go back click on a clip and hit the delete key on the keyboard and it'll just delete that clip leaving a blank space in the timeline then we can move the different clips around if we want to by left clicking and holding by left clicking on the mouse or we can right click and go to remove to re okay so it's not quite what I'm looking for but I think it's close enough so I've got Mina getting blasted with a shotgun let me zoom in real close here. Another hydrate. Got you, Fugo. Uh, how does this last part come in? Yeah. Comes through fine. Alright. So essentially what I would do is I do want to leave this in the video, but I would, let's see here. Can I like add notes? Update thumbnails, align to reference track, detach audio, rejoin with next clip. There we go, okay. So I can say, copy this. Output, can I create another output? Or can I say paste this into here? Remove, copy, insert, uh, cut. We're going to go copy. Then can I paste you into my source? My like playlist. Insert doesn't sound right. <laughs> so what if I just control P? Well, as an upside, nothing broke. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Playlist, filters, properties. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to say grab that. So I've got that section, this specific section copied. Out of my video. Copy. And then let's go ahead and say 
rejoin and rejoin. So now it's all one video again. But then I shift the whole video out a little bit. Uh oh. Okay. And then I come over here. I've copied. Can I control P? Control P is toggling this magnet. Snap. Okay. It's because it's not control P, it's control V, and I'm dumb. So what did this do? Control V repasted the clip exactly here. So let's see here. If I pull this back here, we're back to mine. If I pull this back here, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Ah, memes. I didn't toggle my Discord. Disturb. All right. So Miner gets shotgun. <laughs> Miner gets back up again. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that ain't right. That ain't it, Chief. Let's go ahead and control Z through that. Uh... Okay. Now it shouldn't immediately go from me blasting Mina in the face to Mina standing up again. So Mina stands up, I bully her, she takes a knee, blast her a couple times. shots okay and it doesn't just cut back to her standing back up which is good that's what we want ultimately but how do I get like a second line here I've got keyframes track orientations add Ooh. insert track there we go. Now I've got another track. Okay, so I've got my whole my whole base video here. Uh, we're going to call this the pure timeline. Uh, the pure VOD. And we're going to call this uh, Clips I Butchered Out of the VOD. <laughs> And then we can maybe use that as a storage space. So if I come down to the pure VOD. All right, come on, me. Let's roll this back just a couple seconds. Ah, oh, Jesus, this thing lets me go by the millisecond. Is that what I'm understanding that as? Okay, we're going to say split the playhead here. Two shots, split again, and we zoom in a bunch, zoom in even more. Okay, I've zoomed in too much. <laughs> Let's 
If I bring this back to here. Okay. So now I take this section. I copy this section. Then I come up to the clips I've butchered out of my video. And I control V. And with that, I have successfully lifted a clip. So now I have boom, boom. Of course, I still have audio from the lower track, but I have Mina getting shot with a shotgun <laughs> now. <laughs> Which means now I can rejoin this video. I can I can mend the pure vod. And I've still got my clip. Okay, why does it feel like I can't see this thing properly? Let's see here. Yeah, ultimately I'd end up having the say the pure vod muted. So you'd have nothing from that. And then yeah, the clips which are pulled out would end up overriding. Well why can I no longer see your tracks? Make tracks tall No. <laughs> no no no. Okay. Ah, I have a scroll bar here on the side to let me see that. That's that's a way to do it. Okay. Uh what if I track I make tracks shorter? There we go. Yay. Uh, so if I go ahead and create a new audio track, this new audio track here is going to be called uh, Commentary. So now we've got Commentary, which is just an audio track. And because it's an audio track purely, it's being relegated to the bottom. Okay, so what I would do is I'd mute this, mute this, and then we'll say drag this back to the start. Why don't I have video yet? Okay. Something's gone a little funky with the timeline. <laughs> uh, hi, I would like to... Why am I putting you at like negative 18 seconds? What is that? No, now it's at zero. Okay. But what is 30 minutes in the video is now going to be like weirdly further out. I don't know why the whole thing was like shifted. And I'll have to track down that clip. There we are. All right, we're gonna grab this clip. We're going to maybe slide it all the way over, just so that way I have it stored. Oh Lord. Come on now. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to use the record audio feature that they've got here in Shotcut. And then I can use that with whatever the hell I'm writing. Okay, there's got to be a better way to do this. Man, I zoom out, and that clip is just gone. 
Holy shit. Or no, it's because it reset this. Oh, fuck. It's somewhere in here now. Uh-oh. There it is. Alright, grab this whole thing. Slide it here. I'm going to say, take this thing all the way to the start. It's just going to be really annoyingly inefficient about it. Okay. Yeah, in theory, I could edit in my source tab up here. I'm not the, entirely sure how I'd do that, though. Because I don't really have a good zoom control there, so I think just leaving that as is is fine. Maybe. All right, we'll just extend that back to what it's supposed to be. Who would have thought learning skills from scratch is uh, a little difficult? But I've got faith in me. I'm going to make baby's first YouTube video. It probably won't be good. But God damn it, I'm going to try. That's what matters. Now then. All right. Uh, that said, we need to like actually script. I've got a whole bunch of like the route I was doing, which we can work with. But yeah, so I'm thinking something along the lines of, like, just engaging with the viewer immediately. Just, hey there, did you know you can beat Signalis with only a shotgun? No? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll teach you. And then just cut into the clip of just, you know, if I bring it over to here, just blasting shotgun just over and over again. Just, boom. I'd probably want it to be tighter. But, you know, get like a series of enemies getting shot with shotgun. And then probably put some sort of music track in the background. Maybe like Doom stuff. I want to hide lower track completely. Uh, 
I guess. Coming from my lower track. I do want to find when I blasted the uh, the one room with enemies. All right. Uh, let's see here. Zoom it back out. Damn, I'm good. So, make sure I'm on pure VOD track. I create a split. Create a split again. Then I zoom in at my playhead a whole bunch. Until I identifiably have three clips, preferably. All right. <laughs> Jesus, I zoomed into a sub-second level, I just noticed. Okay. Uh, or no, did I not create the second split? Am I just dumb? I might just be dumb, chat. No, I did. There it is. Uh, it waits a little too long. Let's see here. We're going to rejoin this with the next clip. If I split there. I think that works. So, I then zoom in a couple more times. I take my itty bitty little audio clip. I copy it. I come to the clips I've butchered section. And I paste it. So now I've created it. Let's control Z that though. And see if I can paste it somewhere close to my start no okay so it places it at the playhead so what i do is i move the playhead back to the start move that over here zoom in a few times and then i paste there we go all right i have found a more efficient way to reposition my clips and apparently I am going to have to go help with things in 15 minutes that's just my fucking luck today god damn the moment I think oh you know I can actually start my stream on time <laughs> that'll be fine yeah and I guess let's come down here to the commentary track and pull up my script on my other monitor. Let's hit the record audio. Hey there, did you know you can beat Signalis with only a shotgun? No. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll teach you. So now we have voiceover one, which I'm probably going to cringe at because, well, I am a gamer, and I cringe at the sound of my own voice. Hey there, did you know you can beat Signalis with only a shotgun? No. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll teach you. And then just from that, immediately into clips of enemies getting blasted. That's, that's the thought process. That is, that is my opening bit. Let's see here. We can also uh, trim up the edge of this audio a little bit. Here, if I come to this 
it shows I have an edge I can drag around. Let me let me control you. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up this section. Hey there, did you know you can beat Signalis with only a shotgun? No. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll teach you. And, you know, something like that. I'm actually, I'm actually pleased with how that sort of opening bit works. Like, aside from, like, timing, obviously. I gotta... I want it to be quick, snappy little cuts, you know, of just enemies getting blasted. Which means, frankly, I need to play the game some more and shotgun just, like, everything. Which I might, <laughs> I might go do here in a bit, but... I want to get, like, a bunch of clips of me just blasting enemies. We need the music playing for the intro bit, I feel. Well, in theory, what I could do is I could delay my little joke opener. So I would say delay my voiceover. I would say play from the pure VOD without the edited clips yet. In theory, I can make some sort of quick version of the intro. I'm going to mute my commentary track. Let's see here. Jesus, I don't even get started. Yeah. So we have, say... Wake up. Actually, so what we do is we have... Wake up. Commentary track comes in. And then enemies getting blasted. So hear me out here. So we have something like... there. Did you know you can beat Signalis with only a shotgun? No. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll teach you. And then, boom. We're just into enemies getting blasted. Something like that, maybe. I definitely want to have the keystroke sound from the wake-up section. But then might have some sort of like music cut in. Yeah, in terms of like the actual opening, let's see here. We'd say have that be our in point for this. So that's where that comes in. Because we, honestly, we don't need to see me starting the game. So now we've created that. But what we're going to do now, slide this over and adjust our bit accordingly. And slide these in, sort of like this. So, pulling us back to the very start of the video. Hey there, did you know you can beat Signalis with only a shotgun? No. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll teach you. And then we'll have a quick montage of enemies getting shotgunned. And then, frankly, seeing as nothing interesting really happens at like, the very intro, I feel like we would just have the montage of enemies getting shotgunned to probably some sort of metal track. Maybe Doom music, 
Maybe Power Wolf. Sabaton, maybe. Ooh. Beast in Black. I am a fan of Beast in Black. It would be like finding the right one, though. Actually, I think I know just the track. Uh, From Hell with Love, I feel like would go really well with this. Uh, let's see here. Put this into here. These streams are already going to get like DMCA, whatever, straight to hell. So let's see here. Uh, Beast in Black, From Hell with Love. Not the full album, just the single. Let's see here. Uh, All right. So specifically, I'd want like the line from Hell with Love. Let's see here. That's intro. Most replayed. Ah, I see. That's why that's most replayed. But yeah, so have this here. And just enemies getting laid to waste with a shotgun. I feel like that also fits very well with Signalis, because the whole thing is Elster is essentially going through hell to save Ariane. So, from hell with love I write, you know? I'm thinking having that is like, I would need to create another audio track. And, well, frankly, I would need to uh, acquire uh, somehow the audio of from hell with love which uh, there are ways to do. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure most of them would be of questionable moral fiber. But yeah, I want to have that from hell with love I write section over just enemies getting laid out with a shotgun. Okay, like, yeah, this clip I can shave off to, like this last half a second. But yeah, so that is that is the thought process. That is like my rough thought process. Uh, so I guess we're gonna change this from pure vod to uh, main VOD, and then we can have our clips cut in. But yeah, I just feel like a. Just a straight cut to don't worry, I'll teach you into enemies getting shotgunned with from hell with love, and then that is like th that sets my opening tone. I feel like that could work really nice, actually. The big thing is just going to be like getting all that set up. Because another big thing is the more audio of From Hell With Love that I use, the more clips I need to fill the space. Because at first, it's like it doesn't sound like it'll be too long. But yeah, that right there was like four seconds. And I currently have, you know, <laughs> I'm planning to shorten these clips that I have to like just enemies getting shotgun. So we have one, two. You know, we have about, like, three seconds, so that that barely covers just those few seconds of the song. So, it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting. But, yeah. So, uh, let's see here. I'm also going to... Let's see. Can I create a note on my Google Doc? Let's see here. Extensions, editing, comment history. There we go. Add a comment. Need more clips of enemies getting blasted with shotgun. Uh, 
and <laughs> need from hell with love. And I'd probably, it, it would not be remiss, or would it be remiss of me to look up uh, fair use? I have a terrible idea. Shoot, Fugo, what are you thinking? Also, do I have the chat box turned off? Sorry, I haven't had like my, I only have two monitors, so you guys are sharing the same monitor as everything else that I don't necessarily want flashing up on stream all the time. So I haven't really been, been able to check to see if chat's popping up okay. Wait, shoot. What's the terrible idea? Yeah, and I'm probably going to do, like, do-overs on that line. Like, my little opening line until I get one that I'm happy with. But for now, it serves its purpose in structuring my video. Let's see here. If I banish this. Okay, it's this section. <clears throat> Uh, let's go ahead and let's see here. Pull this back. Remove these. Ooh. What we could do is we go from Elster's Glitching out. Uh oh. Control Z. Control Z. I'm sorry. Mend it. I need to be on main VOD. And I want to split in the main VOD, not my clips even further. <laughs> and then. Let's go ahead and pause. Skip through. Also, I am probably going to. You can ignore that last text. I'm going to drop the hand straw off at the barn before bringing groceries up. They'll be fine in the car. While I do that, then I'll. Okay, so I got a text that basically says, I'm going to need you to help with groceries in 15 minutes. And then I got another text. That is telling me, not that I'm, like, free of responsibility, but no. Instead, it's, uh, I'm going to need you later than expected. Okay, so I've got a couple more minutes. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think we just skip over the entire opening section. Because it's tutorial zone. And there's, like, no combat, no nothing. So we just skip straight to the Serpinski. Because I've got a lot of VOD I have to trim out. If need be, I have my original source VOD, so I can always just go and like re-enter that. Ooh. That said, Elster gazing stoically off into the distance after exiting the ship could make for an interesting part of the montage. Let's see here. It's not from the ship, but yeah, from here. I might be able to use that little bit. That little couple seconds there for something. So I guess let's go ahead and split it out real quick. We're gonna split. And 
split. On this section, we're going to, uh, let's see here, we're going to cut. No, we're not going to cut, but we're going to copy. And then we're going to paste into our upper track. Just that way we have it. Memes Automod stop my message, but fair it long. Let me see here. Let me let me see here. Oh no. It didn't deny your message because it was long. It denied your word or it denied you because you had the word climax. <laughs> That's that's the issue, Fugo. It's not that your message was too long. It's that you said climax. <laughs> All right, I'll go ahead and hit allow though. I'll uh, I'll let it through. There's the wake up bit when you're doing your intro speech. The music slowly begins to fade in and then reaches the climax as the intro quote ends. Uh, music gets hectic as the montage plays. So what you're proposing is let's see here so when you say the wake up bit do you mean the wake up on the ship or the wake up at the Sierpinski like at the station because the whole uh, things have learned to walk that ought to crawl uh, that comes up earlier also let me raise the text box a little because in terms of like VOD quality your messages are getting lost in my taskbar Because I guess when I'm referring to the waking up, I'm referring to, let's see if I zoom out a little bit. I guess here's the section that you were, I think, referencing. As the intro quote ends. Because this is the... Things have learned the, to walk that ought to crawl, and also the remember our promise. Great holes are secretly digged where Earth's pores ought to suffice. And things have learned to walk that ought to crawl. Remember our promise. So. Would you want shotgun montage, say, after that, or before that? Admittedly. I've had an awful idea. For me, anyway. But there's, like, there's the little flashes of, you know, reality. Great holes are digged where Earth's pores ought to suffice. Flashes Elster. What if instead of it flashing Elster, that's where I put in the shotgun clip of just an enemy getting blown away with a shotgun? I'd have to fit it tight, though, because I have I want to keep it in with the musical score. But that would allow me to re-edit. I wouldn't need From Hell with Love with that. In theory, that my new idea could work. That is a good idea, I say. Gotcha. Yeah, because there's there's a few opportunities for it. So let's see here. If I pull it back a little further, a little further still. Yeah, preparing to send message. Yeah, don't worry, I'll teach you. Preparing to send message. Octung, Octung. Shotgun. Shotgun again. Oh man, that's gonna be a bitch to edit out. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be messing with this little millisecond timer for a while. <laughs> Yeah, but that also does save me from needing to worry about From Hell With Love, which is kind of nice. 
it changes the uh, sort of the opening tone. Because I was thinking something a little more energetic. But if I do a more sinister take of the line instead because i was doing you know sort of like a uh, you know starts off light and then goes dark sort of that don't worry i'll teach you and then that could work i'd have to figure out i might want to even like rewrite my opening line but uh yeah that is <laughs> the miracle of editing things I've learned to walk that out to crawl shotgun again remember our promise and the real question is would I want the gunfire interrupting and I think I would still just to have the brief just cut of intense violence yeah in theory that could work nicely so what I would do is, let's see here, we need to pull it back more. Create split. And then we can play around with clipping off more of the timing. Alright, but this also means since I've now got that sort of initial setup, I can take this. I guess let me move the playhead back here. We've still got that top track hidden. I probably want to redo my intro. I do kind of like how the effect works with, you know. Hey there, did you know you can beat Signalis with only a shotgun? No. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll teach you. You know, sort of introducing with Elster. Uh, in theory, if I delay my audio a little bit, You can beat Signalis with only a shotgun? No. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll teach you. And then we'd have that come into here, which I want to let's see here. Rejoin with next clip. Rejoin with next clip. And then we'd go ahead and say cut. So what we're looking at now is something like this. Hey there, did you know you can beat Signalis with only a shotgun? No. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll teach you. And then this comes in. God, how many clips I'm going to need of shotgunnery. And 
let's see here. Doing something like this. Re-enable this section. Hey there, did you know you can beat Signalis with only a shotgun? No. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll teach you. That actually works really nice, holy shit. I actually really like that effect. I definitely still want to leave the island uh, from the original intro. But yeah, I just need to do just like a playthrough not even a playthrough, but I just need to get clips of me shotgunning enemies in random zones. You wake up. It's a Monday. All your friends have been kidnapped by furries. God must be killed. And then <laughs> cut into Elster rebooting. <laughs> In theory, I could even steal that, like, even just like some of these, like, expressions from Elster and move them earlier into that montage. And then just cut into gameplay. First things first, grab key item. Once you've got that taken care of, you can access the door immediately to your right. Go through there, and then there's this whole puzzle section, tutorial area, but ultimately, we're just going to skip over that because we already know the combination. So what we're going to do is skip through straight to the classroom safe, grab the classroom key, and fuck off this floor. And, you know, I'd probably remove some of the walking. Cheese the combination because we already know it. Because that default combination is just preset. There is also one bit I can actually do in the video that is really great. So because we did not get the, what is it, uh, the hollow disk, and we did not take it to the library to analyze it and find the default code, we actually skip over the event where you originally meet Issa. Like, you know, you find her in the library, she's stabbed one of the androids to death recently, you know? And we actually end up skipping that event entirely. Which makes it really funny when uh, later I'm, let's see here, taking the elevator. Come on now. He. Hmm. But yeah, here, oh, here it is. I've actually clicked straight to it. But Issa goes, ah, it's you again. And it's just, I've never seen you before in my life. Because <laughs> I actually, I made sure to go ahead and talk to some NPCs. Because you do want to come up here early. Because you can actually get shotgun shells before you get a shotgun. So, get shotgunless shells. And say hi to the local human. 
Ah, it's you again. I've never seen this woman before in my life. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm glad you're still okay. We haven't met. And, you know, work some sort of joke out of that, maybe. Yeah, there's a lot of trimming that I'm going to end up doing on this video. I'm probably going to cut out several, you know, like most of the NPC interactions, unless I have some sort of bit I think I can do with them. Yeah, I actually, I kind of like how our intro works so far, though. I've got a couple of clips that I want to lift up. But uh, I could also maybe delay my audio a little bit. Let's see here. Let's just pull this back. Elster's eyes open. Cut in voiceover. Hey there. Did you know you can beat Signalis with only a shotgun? No. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll teach you. And that actually flows really nice because it covers that little bit of dead space. At the start of that clip, that actually, I actually really like how that works out. And then we go into, yes, this is a horror game, you know, here's this sort of slow section. Ooh, if I could get clips of me uh, shooting the Calibris. Because the Calibris cause all sorts of crazy on screen effects, I feel like that would work really nice. Oh, and I have my top track disabled. God damn it. Also, I have not received any more follow-up texts. So I'm thinking I might go ahead and uh, check in on that myself just to make sure I'm not needed. So I will be right back. Uh, let's see here. And let me get the lo-fi track up and running again. Let's see here. I gotta retrack my way to it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we are. Okay. And I'll be right back, chat.
I was right on the money. Hate it when I do that. <laughs> but uh, ended up having to move a few bales of hay and straw, and additionally bring stuff in. Uh, let's see here. I still don't necessarily know what to do with this clip. <clears throat> Can I remove the... Yeah, detach audio. Okay, cool. That is a thing. <clears throat> so, my thought process is... I just have this little let's see here. Split this. And I also need to clip it at the end. <coughs> Trim off as many little milliseconds as possible. Alright, so I'm going to take this little bit, and we're going to cut it. We're going to take this bit and cut it. And then I'm thinking we essentially replace our initial little encounter with a stoic look. <coughs> Drag it up to there. And we would want to detach the audio from this one. And we're going to cut its audio completely. <laughs> nah, it needs the audio. Honestly, I think that's where we put our first Calibri, is just on that second little bit there. So now, I just need to go through my VOD that I've created, and find my first Calibri. Also, what's going on here? Gold key is found. Picked up. Oh, memes. Does it actually not have, like, me actually shotgunning them? Did I not? I never remended that clip. Okay. Why did that get cut? Because <clears throat> I definitely want to have those enemies, like, getting blasted. Do they still get blasted? <laughs> it cuts out perfectly. <laughs> okay, uh let me let me come back over back over here. Let's zoom in a bit. Memes. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is the clip. I want to copy this clip. I'm going to zoom it back out, and we are also going to restore it in the original timeline. 
<laughs> Oops. All right, can I paste into that? Oh, maybe. Thought about it. Control Z. Uh oh. What have I done? What have I control Z'd out? Alright, let's zoom back in. So I want to copy this. And we'll say, go ahead and skip up here. Zoom in again. We'll paste it again up here. Oh, wait, what's this? Is that the... Oh wait, weird. So... There's just a unexplained... Oh no, okay. This is from me adjusting things. Because I've been shuffling the timeline forward. Okay. So I don't actually need this. It's just that I never remended the video. So the rest fell behind. So we're going to rejoin. Rejoin. And this should just be fine. Okay, yeah. Then stomp them out. Get shells. Awesome. Okay, cool. So that's what happened there. It was because I had cut the video previously, and then I had been shuffling my first segment forward as I was, like, trimming things up. So those just got left behind. That's why there was a gap. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I got worried for a moment there. Uh, that said, I need to cut down a floor. I'll be post mina when I get to the island room. Let's see here. I need to jump down this pit. Yeah, there we go. There's the Calibri. Let's zoom in a little. I want to do after I exit my uh, inventory. All right, so we're going to split. a little. Got, because they writhe around on the ground, I can't quite tell when I take the shot. There we go. So we'll have this, and then I, ultimately I want to shorten it up. So we're going to, we're going to rejoin this, because I just want like one to two seconds. Not even one to two seconds, really. So just like this section. Let's see here. Copy this. Come up to this section. And then we are going to zoom out a whole bunch. Throw this back towards the start. Zoom in again. And we're going to paste in my brand new clip. Cool. 
And then we are going to let's see here's around the forty minute mark. We are going to mend our video prime. Rejoin. Rejoin. Because I don't want that cut out because killing the Calibri in this office is a very important part of the run. <laughs> As is killing basically every Calibri. But now we just see here. Is that Elster with the red screen or still the basic screen? We can have a reprieve from the shotgun in the intro, I think. Apparently I skipped over the next Elster bit. There it is. Does that actually even register? Okay, it does for a couple. I'm thinking we replace this one with Elster's, like, stoic look in the mirror from later. Yeah, here we are. So we'll say split. Wait a little bit. Split. That should be enough to cover just those couple milliseconds. Copy. Slide this back over. Come up here. Paste. And then we mend this again. That actually... Holy shit, that lined up perfectly. Let's see here. So, we've got... Uh, I don't want that... the monitor... look here. That. That one. I want to replace with our... second shotgun clip. Slide it out. Slide it in. There we go. There's the island, which we want. Red screen, great holes, secretly digged. I think we can also do a helmetless Elster, and that'll be fine. But once we get to that second helmetless Elster, that's when we'll cut back in to more shotgunning. So let's see here. And honestly, I want that Calibri clip to be even shorter. Wait. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, we're, we're going to cut that entire clip in half. There we go. So I need at least one, two. We can do full robot Elster. <laughs> what if for the like remember our promise, I just put like a waifu'd up version of the shotgun. Like give it the funny like anime blush. So sure, we can have like Isa remember our promise. And instead of flashing the kanji, we f I just flash up an image of, like, the Signalis shotgun, but with the funny anime blush on it. <laughs> shotgun body pillow, you know. Oh, and then, yeah, Ariane. And then wake up. And I'm thinking we cut from there. And then I would essentially, instead of showing this, I think we would cut straight in to Elster just in the bathroom, as opposed to showing like that opening shot of Sierpinski. Like maybe we'll have the reboot screen, but you know. Elster wakes up. Honestly, we might want to skip it since we actually used the shot earlier. But we can have, like, the uh, reboot screen into that second image. You wake up in the bathroom after a drunken stupor, go outside, grab the nearest key card, and swipe the closest door you can. After that, if you were actually playing this game for the first time, you would carefully maneuver your way through this section, solving puzzles and all that. But, since we're a god gamer, and you've been here before haven't you? We go ahead and use the safe anyway, and input the default combination. And I'd skip over me actually putting in the combination for the sake of, you know, levity. For the sake of time. Because it is one thing I really like about the, uh, like, puzzles in this game is if you already know them, in terms of, like, speedrunning the game, uh, you already know them, you can just blitz through. That said, the radio combinations are actually randomized every run. So you can't just cheese your radio combos. Like, in the uh, stuff I was doing yesterday when I was trying to, like, theorycraft my run and, like, route out an actual guide and all that, uh, my sword frequency was on 240. In the run that I actually did with this footage... Uh, my sword was on 229. It was still the last frequency, but it was on a different frequency, had a different combination. It's like three, three, four, four, eight, seven, or something like that, as opposed to the other one. talk through the NPCs just to have the footage in case I want to do something with them. But I'm not sure what, if anything, I would be doing with the NPCs. Jump in a pit. This will happen several times. And then maybe add, like, a pit counter? Nah. I mean, we could flash it on screen just for a moment. So, let's see here. In terms of what I'm going to be doing right now, we have our intro sequence. <clears throat> That's still not quite finished. Yeah, I'm thinking we cut the opening shot of the Sierpinski. Fade to black. 
but instead of Sierpinski, what we're going to do is cut straight to Elster's reboot screen. I think. I mean, we can still have the chapter one. We'll see if that creates any weird oddities in the audio real quick. That actually seemed to flow pretty all right. And we're going to cut out this shot. Once we get to that shot, we're fine. But this I want to cut. Let's see if that causes any issues. Just because we already used that shot for our opener. How's that sound? Adding some little like extra static crackle could be good there. But then if we just cut into the commentary, should be alright. It's funny how you can actually see like the bass peak in the audio. Yeah, and then I'll have to actually script out. Uh, so I guess that's probably what I'm going to be working on now. <laughs> Aside from maybe, I guess we should probably finish our intro bit. Uh, I guess one thing I want is I want to clip a Falk, honestly. I want, you know, like, we'll give a, a spoiler warning, but I want a clip of Falk. I want to have a clip of the final fight right at the beginning. Yeah, so I'd probably put it, like, say, after the Calibris. Because let's see here. I want to replace one clip there. Second clip there. Then we actually just have, you know, Robo-faced Elster. So I've got two more clips that I want. So in theory, what I could do is I could take the other, uh, what is it? The other Calibri in the Hummingbird office. And I could have that clip as well. Oh, man, now that I think about it, I actually did that one super dirty because I, I'm pretty sure I blasted her in the dark. I don't think I actually had my light on. I think that was like me firing a shot into the darkness. You know what would be funny, though, is if I put, like, because Ariane isn't, like, the cryopod, what if I was to, like, because I can't model swap, but I can Photoshop, what I can do is I can take the cryopod from the very opening section, like the tutorial zone, 
and then Photoshop the shotgun. I, I would have to get an image of the shotgun. You know, like, just before I pick it up. Ooh, there... Oh, I actually remember something from when I was filming, though. I intentionally made myself a sort of clip moment whenever I finally got my hands on the shotgun. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, let's see here. When did I get my hands on the shotgun? I have the shotgun here. Okay, I did pump puzzle. There it is. Yep. Uh, Isa. Okay, we're... It's post Isa. Yeah. Potential transition into animated bit. Elster pressing up against the glass one to get the shotgun. We go get our beloved. Something I intentionally did for myself. Let's see if I did it right at all. Yeah! Okay. I specifically locked in the reload animation. <laughs> Just so that way I could clip it later. So I probably want to do a zoom on it just to get rid of a lot of the empty space and just focus on the reload, but <laughs> that was it. It was me <laughs> reloading the shotgun. Split. There we go. Copy this clip. Yeah, so we'll probably apply a zoom effect to it, but if I bring this over here, go ahead and. Oh. Control Z. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pure VOD. I need to put it in my clips section. There we go. Okay. Now that I've got that. Off on its lonesome, I can go and mend the video. <clears throat> Here we are. Rejoin. Rejoin. Now that's all. Oh yeah, that's that good shit. Also, what's up with this? Why is this all split up? <clears throat> I guess this is just the actual cuts that I did. Shame on me. Yeah, because I'm skipping Serpensky intro. Could put some, like, fake translation in the bottom, maybe? If I could find the font. <laughs> So it'd be like, you know, chapter one, what it actually says, and then in, like, brackets or parentheses in a matching font underneath, acquiring shotgun. You know, an intentional mistranslation. <laughs> or put in uh, the little thing from earlier, uh, shotgunless shells. <laughs> In theory, I could smooth over that little audio artifact just by, uh, like, starting commentary over it. Okay, uh, let's see here. If I come back to my tutorial videos... Mask, simple shape, create a video intro, logo splash screen. OK, 
convert images to video, add sides to a vertical video, freeze and hold video frame, adding text and title screen. I'll need that eventually. Transitions and crossfades. Nah, we just hard cut because we don't give a fuck. Nah, I'll add those in later. Video size, scale, and rotation. Uh, let's see here. Maybe this is what I'm looking for. I'm not entirely sure. Welcome Let's go back ahead to another Shotcut video you. editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning how to scale and change the size and rotate uh, our video clips. So I have three clips loaded in here. I'm just going to drag one of them down to the timeline. Mm. And we'll zoom in a little bit here. So it is a uh, filter that we're going to apply <coughs> to do that. So we go filter. into filters like okay. we've done in the past. We click add. And then there is a, uh, a filter, an effect for that uh, under video. Okay. So the one we're going to be doing is rotate, rotate and, scale and scale and size and position. So the first one we'll do is just rotate and scale. It's a little bit easier to use in my opinion. So the scaling is just based off a of percentage. So it's 100% right now. If we scale it up, we can zoom in. Cool. We scale it out. We can okay. zoom out a little bit there and make it smaller. That's basically what I'm going but for. But we can't actually click over here and make any changes. We just <coughs> have these four different options. Scale. Then we have rotation. So we can turn it you know, 90 degrees. 180 degrees and if we ever want to get it back to zero we could try and find exact zero on here or we can just click this button reset and reset default. any yeah. changes that we've made so if we want to just reset everything back to how it was we just do that real quick offset's going to be um, basically our position so that means we can scale up and find a certain point in here okay so hopefully this doesn't apply to my entire video because that would be really inconvenient but if I come into here come into my shotgun reload clip we're going to zoom in a little and i've got it selected go to filters add filter and we're looking for size position and rotate we're going to zoom in don't want rotation. Uh, I want to mess with my offset, though. Okay. This <laughs> it's inefficient, but it looks about like what I'm going for. Could I get these as a slider, maybe? If I click out. Oh, my God. Can I just grab and slide? No, that'd be too convenient. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and start augmenting by 200s. One nine seven three, and we want to move this down. So I want to make this say bigger. And that should only apply to that chunk of video, right? Yeah. I said it looks like this is overlapping with another instance. I only want to have it skip over one. Because it feels like it stutters there really heavily when it actually has to like show the video. Maybe it's just me. Okay, yeah, no, it's not just me. It is having an issue with that. <laughs> uh, huh. If I reduce the zoom effect a bit. I definitely want Elster sort of my central focus of this, though. Well, Elster with shotgun.
essentially I just want to crop like this. I don't need the rest of that video. Yeah, it's such a heavy stutter there. Okay. Let's go ahead and reset all those to defaults. Oh, those are not all defaults. Okay. Reset again. That said, it's good to know that the position wasn't the issue. How do those cinematic bars line up? Well, the cinematic bar... That actually lines up decently. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to edit that clip a ton as much as I'd like to. Chapter 1. Shotgunless Shells. I don't think I need to, like, narrate, like, the part 1, part 2, all that kind of stuff. So what does it mean to be shotgun only? It means to reject all other weaponry in favor of our best friend, Remington. Or, well, more specifically, in this case, the Spaz-12. Stock folded. And essentially, I just, like, say speed up these clips. Maybe... Just speed up the run through. Now I could teach you how to get through the first floor, but you've been here before. So we get the classroom key. So essentially... Thought process is we have a split here. The only issue is the background track wouldn't sync up very well. It would sound like it's sped up. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's actually... I actually do want to get one of my VODs in here, if it's of decent quality. Because we've got some pretty decent looking footage. I deleted the other part, because I am dumb. And I was like, oh, it's low quality footage. I mean, I'm probably right, and ooh. But what I can do is I actually still, uh, because of the save files that I set up, I created save files for myself just before Falk for each of my challenge runs, and I hadn't deleted those. So that's why I have two saves uh, that are marked as home, is because the first one was the save just before Falk for the handgun challenge, and then the second one was for my initial shotgun only run. So I can boot up that save. It's technically way ahead of where I currently am in my replay through. But I could use that to get, uh, like, a shot of me, well, shooting Falk. <clears throat> mm, 
Let's see. So, the question becomes, how do we get the shotgun? Now, you see, I could answer that, but you've already been here before, and then speed through this section. Because, ultimately, this is... It, it's pretty much still a tutorial zone. So I'm not the most pleased with how my, uh, like, audio quality is. Like, my headset mic is fine for streaming, but I'd like something better, maybe. Hey there, did you know you can beat Signalis with only a shotgun? No. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll teach you. I actually kind of like how that intro works. Even with just, like, that particular dialogue and cadence, I actually really like how that turned out. This is just a background ambiance. I said I think I might want just the straight reload as the first clip. <clears throat> so I'd essentially be pushing all the other clips back by like one position. Yeah, fuck it. Let's mess up our timeline. Drag all these back. Drag this forward. into the bar. So we have Elster Reload. Winter Wonderland shot. door. That is our next Elster to Overland.
Helmetless Elster. And then instead of having the partial Dissolve Elster, that's where we put in our, you know, Empty Stare. And we replace that Elster. Libri clip. Okay, so it looks like I've got one more clip from that section that I want to replace. Yeah. Which I can probably go ahead and put as the fault clip. I'll also want to have Falk replacing Issa, maybe. Flash to Falk getting gunned. Remember our promise. I think that'll be the way that I do it. So, for the two remaining clips that I want, I want Hummingbird Office Calibri. Like, I definitely want, say, the skinless Elster there. So, that version... It's us shotgunning the other Calibri. Blank stare. No skin. Falk. Remember our promise. Wake up. Okay, so, I keep talking about shooting that particular Calibri. Uh, let's see about actually tracking it down, though. It'll be when I'm on floor eight. Now we're going to pause this. Uh, let's see here. That's me arriving at the floor. That's the initial Calibri. Going to Falk's office. Okay, here's actually that Calibri. I want the moment I'm out of my menu. Boom. I guess we can split there. Ooh, I actually like that with a glitch effect. There we go. Let's zoom in a bit. Copy this clip. Come up to the clips I've butchered section. Drag it all the way back to here. Paste in my little clip. Okay, and that is the Elster I'm replacing. Is the mostly dissolved Elster. So that clip actually ends up going a little too long. Because it 
digs into the uh, the next things space a little bit. Uh, in theory, I can clip out that little middle section. I want to keep the the initial like sturb pop up, but I can remove some of my like walking and aiming. So we're gonna zoom in a lot <laughs> for this. So I think we split here. And then split there, cut this section, and it'll be so fast that nobody really notices. Let's see. That's the thought process. And then it also doesn't dig into the next section time as much. Much better. Yeah. Then we replace Isa with Falk. And then remember our promise. And that is our first <laughs> two minutes, basically. There we go, official two minute mark. So, I guess, honestly, let's pull it back and see how we feel about it. Just watching it straight as the opening two minutes. Hey there, did you know you can beat Signalis with only a shotgun? No. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll teach you. I definitely want to replace the winter gaze. I'm not feeling it. That particular one, just not quite feeling. And then I want to shorten the uh, the two yules that I blast. shotgun usage that I did uh, those yules were it I shot those yules the mina and those calibris and I have not shot anything else in that playthrough that is that is all the gun violence I committed strange for an American I know And then pretty much whenever we get to the part where it's Elster looking in the mirror, that's when I would cut back in with commentary. That's my thought process, because I've got this little audio artifact. Just that little gap. It's just not quite pleasing to the ear.
In theory, what I could do, though, is I could use that, like, opener section as maybe, like, a, uh, a teaser for YouTube. That could be funny. Make a little, like, teaser of, oh, yeah, here's what's coming. Checking me out on Twitch to watch me edit live. <laughs> Alright, that said, I actually need to do the changes I've set up. I want to remove the little bit of walking from the bit where I shotgun the Yules. I want to remove the winter walk entirely. Like, honestly, that's all I want for it, I think. So yeah, I'm just going to cut that. There we go. And let's zoom it back out. Let's see how we feel about it now. Don't like the winter walk. I'm going to shotgun something else to get a, you know, a bit of footage for that. Yeah, I don't like that it... It's the music, I think. It throws me off. It clashes. I think I want to replace the winter walk with a late game zone shotgun moment. Probably like the opening of Rot Front, which means in other words, I'm after this stream, I'm just going to be finishing the game, finishing my, you know, shotgun challenge run rerun. <laughs> and then uh Well, I guess yeah, I'm going to finish the initial playthrough. And then make use of uh, the fact that I'll have a save. Like I'll save at the start of Rot Front. And then I'll just have to one-shot it from there. In theory, the only thing that can kill me is Falk. Like, I I'll take damage from other sources, but the only thing that really has a chance of killing me is Falk. I'm not on survival difficulty yet. That said, that could be an interesting uh, like follow-up is how to do on survival. Because I know survival, it changes... Uh, not necessarily enemy placement, I don't think. But it changes resource distribution and how abundant they are. It makes resources more scarce. Like, for example, it might remove our shotgunless shells up by Issa. Maybe. Chapter 1. Synchronizia. God. I can't read German. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm tragically in A. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that said, let's make sure I've got my, uh, what is it, my shopping list, for lack of a better term, up to date. I want to edit this comment. I don't need from hell with love. Uh, let's see here. I need to clarify this. Need clip of rot front shotgunnery. 
and a clip of Falk getting blasted. Save. There we go. So now that I've got that edited, we know what we're going for there. Uh, let's see here. So this is our intro. And then we'll set this up as a floor one. Hmm. Yes, how do we want our tone as a narrator to be? Like, part of me wants to play into the whole, like, time loop aspect of the game, because that is very much a thing in the game for the uninitiated. So part of me is like, I want to say something along the lines of, do you really need a guide for floor one? You've been here before. Very well. Start by glabbing, glabbing memes. <laughs> Start by grabbing the classroom key, and we have the whole sped up footage section. Let's see here, which would be here. Okay, no, I'm just super zoomed in. Let's pull that back out. That would be this section. No, that's floor two. Okay, yeah, so this is the section. Let's see here. Pull this over to the side monitor. And we'll pull this back. Do you really need a guide for floor one? You've been here before. <laughs> Very well. Start by grabbing the classroom key. Speed this footage up to, you know, Elster getting the classroom key. Now that you've got the classroom key, head up and say hello to a doomed friend. Quick speed run up past the star. Do we call her doomed friend? I don't know. Familiar stranger, maybe? I'm not entirely sure how we want to phrase that. That said, I think let's go ahead and get an initial audio take uh, for what I'm going for here. I'll zoom in a little so that I can see my timing a little better. And I guess instead of saying, do you really need a guide? It's, I hope you don't need a guide for floor one. I hope you don't need a guide for floor one. We're not going to ask questions. We're not going to be inquisitive. We're going to be commanding, I guess. I hope you don't need a guide for floor one. You've been here before. It said, if you don't remember, so instead of like very well, we're going to replace the very well with, uh, let's see here, you've been here before? Don't remember, huh? You will. I very much want to lean into the time loop and I want to have that sort of like self-referential. It'll, if someone ever watches the video a second time, it becomes a self-referential joke in that they've been here before 
in, be, in that they've literally watched the video before, you know, if someone ever watches it twice. All right, that said, let's get the script ready. I'm going to give myself a few seconds of a run-up. So it's once that flips out. Okay. I hope you don't need a gun for floor one. You've been here before. Don't remember, huh? You will. Start by grabbing the classroom key. Uh-oh. Where did that save? Uh-oh. Where did that save? <laughs> did that actually save over this? Uh-oh. Uh, unmute. Where? Uh-oh. Where did my audio save? <laughs> if I go ahead and control Z, what does that do? Okay, it remutes that. Oh, you gods. Do I have a... Well, chat, we have a rogue audio segment. <laughs> we don't know where it is. Shit, am I not supposed to be playing the video while I record my audio? Maybe it didn't overlap because I hadn't played it yet. Uh, that's it. This section's highlighted. Okay, so what we're going to do, because seemingly there is no Rogue Rose artifact out there, we're going to come down to the commentary track where I was supposed to be recording, shame on me, and we're not going to play the video, we're just going to do an audio take real quick. Let's get the mic all set up, slip into a voice, this sounds good. I hope you don't need a guide for floor one. You've been here before. Don't remember, huh? You will. Start by grabbing the classroom key. Okay, so maybe it didn't save initially? Uh-oh, voice over three. Uh-oh. Chat, it exists. Voice over two is somewhere. Where the hell is voiceover 2? <laughs> uh, search. Voiceover. Enter. Show only files with... M okay. Uh, voiceover 2 dot OPUS. Show me something that matches that. No? Uh-oh. Chat. This says voiceover three, which means we've got a rogue audio somewhere. <laughs> it's confirmed. I thought I had dealt with it, but we have a rogue audio somewhere in our video. Somewhere in here, in theory, is voiceover two. Uh, my mic level was really inconsistent there. I'm gonna get like an actual mic, I think. I'll have to do a little look here. Yeah, this is what what I recorded over initially for voiceover two. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do a few takes on the audio for now. Though it serves its purpose. As much as I will cringe inside at my uh, amateur work. 
it's something I can learn and grow from. I wonder if it keeps counting instead of resetting the counter if you delete one. Well, if I hit undo. And now voiceover 3 doesn't exist. And I just do another take. Hopefully you don't need a guide for floor one. You've been here before. But if you don't remember, you will. Start by grabbing the classroom key. Okay, you were right, Fugo. That is voiceover four, even though we unmade voiceover three. So yes, that is how that works. <laughs> All right, so we do not have a rogue voiceover two, in theory. If I come down here to audio, can I? Oh, ye gods. Audio, uh, I'll just go back to the editing tab. Thank you very much. Big brain, hell yeah, big brain. Ah, I love seeing those little Yvette hypes. Franny did such a good job on the Yvette emotes. I actually went ahead and I uh, commissioned more. No expected date on those just yet, though. She's uh, She's got a variety of projects she's working on. Oh yeah, hopefully voiceover 4 comes up a little more decently. Let's see here. Hopefully you don't need a guide for floor 1. You've been here before. But, if you don't remember, you will. Start my grinding the classroom key. It's not bad. Give us your vet pat. Okay, that I hadn't set up yet. That was actually not part of my order. She lets me uh, do orders in three. Let me uh, let me send her a thing. <clears throat> uh, chat just gave me an idea for the third emote. We need to pat the vet. There we go. All right, I've I've sent her a message now. <laughs> I'll look into getting like a different mic and then I can mess around with audio balance and all that in my free time. Because in theory, well, I guess not in theory, but uh, my dad, he has decided uh, he wanted to try streaming at one point. So he actually has a variety of seemingly decent streaming equipment that I haven't seen him use. It's one of those things where he, he, like, gathered everything up to get himself, like, a very nice setup and then didn't use any of it. And then when I said I wanted to start streaming, he tried to give it to me, and I was kind of opposed. I was like, no, 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 I'm I'm going to stick grassroots, and I'm going to figure out the absolute basics first. And uh, that's why my setup, I don't have a webcam, I don't have a green screen. I'm using the microphone attached to my headset, and uh, I'm carrying myself as best I can on voice alone. Take the lazy purple tip and cover yourself in the mic with a blanket for better audio quality. I mean, I could, but my cat is asleep on my blanket, and so that is currently not an option. So I'm simply going to have to suffer and cringe at my current audio takes. That is uh, that is how that is going to be. I need to figure out the cadence that I really want these with. I want I want it to be slower, I think. Cuz I know that I have a habit of talking very fast and then I often stumble over my words and all that. So I think if I intentionally slow it down, that will allow me to record better audio. That's the thought process, at least. We'll see how that works out in practice. 
but you, you get what I'm going for, you know, slowing it down, so that way, I don't know, it carries more levity, it's more grand, that kind of stuff, maybe. At least your voice sounds better on video than mine does. Oh, that's not true. Well, I can't say it's not true, but I can say it's unproven because uh, we don't have Fugo audio clips. So unless you want to make some Fugo audio clips to prove me wrong, your uh, your thesis is unproven. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Yeah, I'd probably... Fuck, I should probably do a reshoot. Of at least this section with background music disabled. Probably sound effects disabled as well. Just so that way I can have Elster badooping along, maybe. Because I want to speed this section up. But, because it has a background track to it, if I speed it up, it's probably gonna sound a little weird. So here, let's let's grab this clip real quick. Let's grab this clip, filters, if I had to guess, fade in video, contrast, gain volume, mute, white balance, uh, these are favorites, video, time, time, de-click, speed, there we go, speed, forward only. So if I set this like that. Oh, now it's speeding up over time. Wait a minute. But yeah, the audio is already sounding funky. It slows back down at the end? What? Oh, wait. Hold up. And then it cuts back. I accidentally created an entirely new section. Okay, we're going to undo. That was so weird. Uh, yeah, we're going to, to reset that. Uh, I would, yeah, no, remove that filter, please. <laughs> oh, you gods. <laughs> I swear, if this speeds up. Also, I control Z too far. Uh, audio recording 4 is dead. It no longer exists. That said, this is back at the proper speed. So if I hit redo, there we go. We have the voiceover back. I have restored voiceover four. <laughs> it is back. <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably have to do the lazy purple approach, though, like you said, Fugo. So if I, I'm sure if I ask my dad, like, hey, do you have like a spare mic sitting around from when you thought about being a streamer? I'm sure he's probably got something. Man has a green screen, man probably has a mic, you know? I'd have to, like, wire it into my machine, which is already uh, kind of at max capacity. Because let's see here, I've got three USB ports, and so I've got my mouse, I've got my keyboard, and I've got my headset. So... I'd probably end up having to, like, replace the headset, I guess. And then I'd have to, like, swap it back over to my headset so that way I'm not hearing the audio out of the speakers <laughs> of the laptop. I'd rather get paid for doing a commission, why though my art bed, than record my own voice. Gosh, Fugo, you just gotta just uh, record anyway, you know? What could possibly go wrong?
Your theory is unproven. Your statement's mere hypothesis. <laughs> All right. That said, I'm glad I removed that filter effect. Because I got a, a little weirded out when I was like, wait, why isn't it scrounged? <laughs> why isn't it squished up and small? And it's because it like, sped up and slowed down and then cut back to the other clip. Because in theory, it should have created blank space for me. But it uh, didn't. So, how would I actually go about getting this faster? Temporal speed up fast mo... Temporal speed ramp fast slow motion reverse speed. Time remap? Temporal speed ramp reverse fast slow motion time re... D-click crackle pop D-click. Uh... Probably going to need to look up a tutorial for these. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> there we are. Change video speed. Let's wait through these ads real quick. Because, yes, I am a broke bitch who doesn't have YouTube premium. Sue me. <clears throat> okay. Cut video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning how to increase the speed that our clip is played back. Uh, so we can do mm. slow motion, we can do fast speed. Yeah, so I want to do fast. Do that. You may have noticed, um, so I have a video brought in here on my timeline. If you've been looking at filters, maybe you've already tried to type in speed to look for a speed or a slow uh, filter or effect and you're not finding it. Hmm. Well, that's because um, it's treated a little bit differently in ShotCut. It's actually okay. under properties. So when our clip there is selected and has red around it, we're going to see the properties of whatever clip is selected. Um, and it's only the clip that's selected. So if we were to, to cut this, split this clip, we'd have to change the speed twice. But we see there's information about the video, uh, the audio, some metadata, and right up above it all is this speed. speed. So we can change the speed here. If we change this to 2, it's going to be 200% uh, or 2 times the speed and hit enter. Yeah. And, and it should shorten the clip. clip. There we go. All of a sudden. And it okay. So, now that we have that identified, it would be this section. And we come over here to Properties. And then say, put a 3 there. Or maybe delete 3. There we go and apply. So now we have a gap. Hopefully you don't hear your next play on extended play right now. But, if you don't mind, we'll start my game as soon as we can. I want a 30% because it still sounds decent, even despite being sped up. I guess, how fast can we speed this up with it still sounding decent? If I put it up to, I believe, th like 3.7, it still sounded decent. So 3.7... Apply. So 37% faster. So the alternate option to this is I just cut it. So we have Elster walk out, and then instead of fading in, 
to Elster, like, entering this room, I would just say fade it in here. And just... <laughs> I, I would time skip Elster forward using the, the black transitions like some sort of speedrun cheater. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'd splice her forward in time. That could work. Uh, so I'd say... Reset my speed to default, apply, and then let's try that, actually. Uh, pull it back a little further. It's time for Elster to become a jumper. So we're going to split here, and then we're going to... Come forward to here. We're going to split. And then we delete this section. Yeah, I'd want to... Hmm. So, the easiest way I could think to do this would be to actually do this as two runs. And so, what I would do is, in order to extract the audio track that I want, I would do it as multiple tracks. So, I would have, say, main VOD, right? But on main VOD, I actually play through without the background music. And then I could use my pure VOD, as I had originally labeled it, to extract the soundtrack. And by doing that, all of the sound effects would still line up with the gameplay, but I could custom line up my music effects. So what this means I'd need to do, though, is I would need to play through the game with no background music so that I could get the run with the sound effects. And then I would need to additionally go and stand in each of the just like random locations, you know, each of the zones in order to get their background track. Or I could spare myself that trouble uh, by going to YouTube, maybe. However, that would mean I actually need to, like, know the tracks. Can I just purchase the soundtrack on Steam, actually? Just boot up. Ah, nice. Steam's updating. So if I can just go through Steam and just buy the soundtrack and then track it down through there, that might be more convenient. <laughs> Spending money. To have to sort through something that I could already sort through for free. Ain't that a meme? Alright, come on, Steam. Thank you. Uh-oh. Hey, I'm streaming. Don't give me downloads. And I have been signaled for food, so it seems this editing session is going to have to go on hiatus. Uh, let's see here, though. Signalis. So, in theory, Rose Engine, how many copies of your game do I need to buy before you let me use the soundtrack? <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm not seeing a DLC soundtrack option. Okay, fair enough. So for now, I'm going to have to wrap this one up. I was signaled for familial obligations. So I guess, let me... I do like the cut, honestly. I like time-skipping Elster forward for the sake of levity. And so let's go ahead and save our project. Saved. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to close it, and we're good. All right. So for now, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Take it easy. See you tomorrow. Peace.